Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Jared from HDG Gaming, and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a video um, that I've thought about doing for a while, and um, it's the top 10 reasons why Battlefield 4 is better than Call of Duty Ghosts, and um, I guess it also could be applied to why, in my mind, Battlefield is better than Call of Duty in general, but um, this is specifically just for um, Battlefield 4 and Ghosts, and um, this video is strictly opinion-based, so um, Call of Duty fans, please don't, like, hate on this video even though you probably will anyway um it's just my opinion just like you guys have your opinion about how call of duty is probably better than battlefield and mine is the other way around so it's just opinion based um you can voice your uh, you can obviously voice your com your voice um in the comment section below but um just try to keep it um civil i guess don't get um don't get too extreme um, this is just based on my opinion, and um, if you guys agree with me on some things, let me know. If you guys disagree me disagree with me on some things, let me know. Just try to do it in a very well-behaved manner. <laughs> um, so, uh, here we go. And at the 10 spot for top 10 reasons why Battlefield 4 is better than Call of Duty Ghosts, we have the simple aspect of weapons and attachments and um, equipment and all that stuff. And if you've ever played Battlefield 4, you know that there's an immense amount of weapons and attachments and um, equipments and uh, all that stuff. Battlefield 4 has 98 weapons you can use as primaries or secondaries. And... Um, launchers and stuff ghosts has 40 so battlefield 4 has 58 more weapons than call of duty ghosts does and um aside from the fact that they just have so many more weapons they have so many more much more equipment and attachments each gun i think has at least 20 attachments for it um each class like if you have a medic class you have so much equipment you could use between grenade launchers, defibrillators, health packs, um, grenade launchers that launch different things from impact grenades to live grenades to smoke grenades to shotgun shells. It's just endless. And um, the fact that you unlock it, unlock it all by rank. I'm not very happy with the ghost system of um, being able to buy things. I feel I like I like it when you get to work towards something, and, um, you work up towards something, and then you unlock it, not just, oh, okay, I can buy this now, and, um, it's, it just isn't as fun for me, and, um, I just don't like it that much, and I think that everyone, it's clearly obvious that Battlefield 4 has so many more weapons, obviously, and, um, a lot more, much more ways to customize your class with all the equipment and stuff. In the 9 spot for top 10 reasons why Battlefield 4 is better than Ghosts, we have game audio. And I understand this is something that is probably very overlooked, but um, if you've ever played Battlefield, you know that game sound is extremely good. And DICE is just the best at game audio, gun sounds, explosions, vehicles. It's all absolutely perfect, and I don't know how, how they get it so perfect, but um, I have some clips from different guns... Um, from Battlefield 4 and then different guns from Ghosts and um, they're different audios inside and outside so you can see um, how both of um, their audios work so and you'll get to see that Battlefield 4's gun sounds is absolutely amazing I have no idea how they get it so perfect but sometimes Call of Duty, Ghost, or Call of Duty guns take it and sound kind of cartoonish and um, Ghosts is decent but um, I'm just going to play these audio clips so uh let me know what you guys think. Grenade out! Grenade out!
At number eight, we have um, Campaign, and uh, surprisingly, <laughs> in the top ten reasons why Battlefield 4 is better than Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, Campaign is up there because usually Battlefield's campaigns aren't too good unless you're playing um, Bad Company, where uh, there's a lot more humor in it. Um, I enjoy Battlefield's Battlefield's 4 campaign a lot. Um, coming off of Battlefield 3's campaign, where I don't think anyone liked Battlefield 3's campaign. It was pretty bad. Um, and um, Black Ops 2, coming off of that campaign for Call of Duty. Um, Black Ops 2 broke a lot of ground with campaign. They added roleplay aspects. Uh, you could pick your loadout and all that stuff. And I feel like Battlefield took a page out of Call of Duty's book with the action side of it. And um, it was a very good campaign in my mind. And I thought Call of Duty's was kind of cliche with the whole your dad and your brother and one of your dad's enemies and I just the whole America downfall and the Federation. I just thought all that shit was stupid. And um, I feel like the Battlefield game is much, much better. And uh, like I said, I feel like they took a book, a page out of their book with the action-packed stuff and all the sequences. And uh, this sequence I'm showing you right here is probably uh, my favorite sequence out of the whole campaign, even though it's a really good campaign. And um, Call of Duty's is just really cliche, and I thought they went a little bit too far um, with the whole dad and brother thing. And it was just too stupid for me. I think the Battlefield game campaign is a lot better. The number seven reason why Battlefield 4 is better than Call of Duty Ghosts is because, well, this isn't specifically for Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Ghosts. This is just Battlefield and Call of Duty in general. Um, Battlefield takes a lot more skill, and I'm not hating towards the Call of Duty community here saying you guys have no skill because there's obviously competitive Call of Duty players out there who have skill. Um, like, I know a competitive Call of Duty player, his name's Crimsix. And he is also a Battlefield player, and I have seen him do some amazing things in Battlefield. But Call of Duty has become more of an arcade game, and it doesn't involve as much skill as Battlefield. Where Battlefield, you have bullet drop and um, just so much more tactical parts of the game where you need to be tactical. Whereas Call of Duty is an arcade-ish game nowadays, and you can just butt rush right up the middle and jump shot and drop shot and use scuff controllers and all that stuff. And it's just, it, you don't need as much skill as you do as you do in Battlefield 4. I put the ranking system at number 6 for um, top 10 reasons why Battlefield 4 is better than Ghost, just because Battlefield 4's ranking system, in my mind, has always been better than Call of Duty's. Um, Call of Duty's, you rank up, and then you prestige, and then you basically just do it all over again. And with Ghost, it's a little bit different, because now, instead of prestiging, you have different characters who you play as, but um, it's still basically the same idea as you just start all over again. And um, Ghosts, you have to start, rebuy basically everything that you had in, in your old guy. And Battlefield 4, there's no prestige, there's none of that. You just keep ranking up. And I don't even know what the max rank of Battlefield 4 is, but I've seen level 100, 105s and stuff like that, and I'm only a 55. And um, you can just rank up so much more, and there's so much more stuff to unlock in Battlefield 4. And, um where ghosts you have very limited stuff to unlock and then you just basically rank all the way up just to go back down to zero again rank all the way up just to go back to zero again and it's just a very boring cycle that call of duty has always had and i think if call of duty could reintroduce a different prestiging system i feel like it would freshen up call of duty a, bit, a little bit because the prestige system has always basically just been ranking up just to go all the way back down to the bottom where call of duty or battlefield you just keep ranking up and keep unlocking stuff and you can just keep going instead of having to go all the way back down to the bottom again. And number five, we have um, just the fact that Battlefield 4 has vehicles that you can get into openly anytime you want. You can spawn into them. And you can control them, you can fly them around the map, you can drive tanks, boats, jets, helicopters, um, 
uh, infantry fighting vehicles, artillery. You can do all this stuff, and you can do it at any time you want compared to Call of Duty's killstreaks and Call of Duty Ghost's killstreaks, which in my mind are really bad, and there's no interesting ones. But um, I think Call of Duty killstreaks force people to want to camp because they want to try to do good to try and get these kill streaks and so they if they can't get them on their own they have to camp and um i feel like a lot of times people try to camp to get their kill streaks in, in ghosts and in any call of duty whereas battlefield 4 eliminating the kill streak um eliminating the kill streak and just making it so you can hop into these vehicles anytime you want as long as no one else is in them, you can, you can spawn into a tank or a jet or a helicopter, whatever you prefer. As if you can get into them anytime you want, I feel like that eliminates camping because people aren't forced to try and camp to, if they can't get a kill streak. Like let's say someone wants to get a juggernaut in Call of Duty Ghosts and they can't get it because maybe they're just not good enough or they're in a bad lobby or something. It people are pushed to camping to try and do good and to try and get that juggernaut that they want where like i said whereas battlefield 4 you don't need to camp because these vehicles you can get in at any time and also the fact that you can level up these vehicles you can get different rounds on your tank um you can get better protection on your tank you can get different flares for your jets or um different missiles for your helicopters and um different missiles for your artillery strikes and all that different stuff whereas killstreaks they come as they are and sometimes killstreaks aren't even that good let's say you're on a map like strike zone that I'm playing on right now and you get a helicopter or something and it's just obviously it's not going to be too helpful because it's a very closed map but um it's it's Battlefield vehicles just are much... They're a smarter thing in my mind. I, well, obviously you can't just put vehicles in Call of Duty because it, they're small maps and it wouldn't work out. Whereas Battlefield, they have the ability to do that because they have such big maps and they have um, the range to do that. And um, I'm not blaming Call of Duty for this because Killstreaks have been in the game since Mono Warfare 2 and obviously they can't really take them out of the game now. They can't change it. They're too to the they're too in the game uh, like they, they're a part of call of duty killstreaks are almost what makes call of duty call of duty now and um i feel like battlefield 4's method of vehicles and f being able to freely get into them anytime you want and not having to get a certain amount of kills to be able to get into a vehicle is pretty smart and um that's also the way Titanfall is taking it. They're not making it so a Titan is a certain amount of kills. They're making it so you have a countdown until you get a Titan. And as you get kills, the, the countdown gets shorter and shorter as you get kills. And um, I feel like that's a really smart way to go with it. And um, I feel like Battlefield 4's method of vehicles is a lot smarter than Killstreaks. Then number four, we have um, the Battlefield Premium versus Call of Duty Season Pass. And uh, Battlefield Premium is just so much better. Um, you get all the DLCs early. You get additional like weekly rewards, new camos, battle packs, new knives. Um, you get all this stuff like weekly. And uh, you get the DLCs early. And there's just so much cool stuff about Battlefield Premium. Whereas Call of Duty Season Pass, you get the four map packs for free at the same time they come out for everybody but you have to pay for all the micro dlc you have to pay for all those stupid ass duck camos um the captain price skins you have to pay two dollars and four dollars for all of that when battlefield premium gives you all of this little stuff for free and it's actually good camos and good stuff where call of duty is making you pay for all the dumbass camos and all the stuff for like that so that's why battlefield in my mind battlefield premium is a lot better than the season pass player appreciation is at number three just because i feel like um dice and battlefield 4 take a lot more care of their players than um 
Activision does and Call of Duty and Infinity War do because Battlefield 4 players, um, you get weekly rewards if you have premium, and I'm pretty sure you do even if you don't have premium. And um, there was Player Appreciation Month for Battlefield 4, and um, I know that there's a point in time, and there's still a point in time at this moment, where Battlefield 4 has been pretty bad with uh, glitches and stuff, and they're re trying really hard to fix that. And um, that's why Player Appreciation Month came out, was because they were like Battlefield 4 and DICE were saying thank you to the players for basically um, staying with the game and I, there was they knew that there was problems but people still played the game and DICE was basically saying thank you for still playing our game even though it's been filled with these glitches and that they've been trying really hard to work on them and um, they're basically saying thank you and uh, I feel like Call of Duty's people are not Call of Duty's people, the Call of Duty community is rewarded with duck camos and space cat camos while Battlefield 4 gets a player appreciation month and um, you can just think about that for yourself for a second and it's obviously very different and um, oh yeah by the way those camos you still have to pay two dollars for even if you don't have the season pass so just think about that and um, think about the different ways that DICE and Battlefield appreciate their players whereas Call of Duty and uh, Infinity Ward and Activision appreciate their players Number two is uh, map design because, um, simply just because Ghosts tried to bring dynamic maps into Call of Duty, and it just makes me laugh how pathetic Call of Duty Ghosts quote unquote dynamic maps are, and how logs falling is dynamic, or um, maybe a gas station falling is dynamic, and um, it's just it's funny because. Battlefield 4 is the true dynamic multiplayer and Ghosts tried to make dynamic maps but it didn't work out at all and um, plus the fact that Call of, Duty, Call of Duty maps have always been so small and because um, they want that fast gameplay so they've always been so small and um, there's always typically been a lot of stuff on the map that clutters it for unnecessary reasons um, spawns have always been bad just simply because the maps are always so small and um, Call of Duty Ghosts maps are the same I mean they're they're bigger than typical Call of Duty maps but somehow even though they've got bigger maps they still have bad spawns and um, there's no basically no dynamic element at all in Call of Duty and um, it's funny how they tried to get that dynamic element this is dynamic element a huge skyscraper falling because people at the bottom destroyed the um, pillars which makes this building fall and C is on top of this building so it basically changes the game because now C is in a completely different spot and um, this is a dynamic map and Call of Duty Ghosts maps just uh, they're not damn it, dynamic they're, they're pathetic And the number one reason why Battlefield 4 is better than Call of Duty Ghosts and why Battlefield is better than Call of Duty in general is because graphics. Just the fact that a map as pretty as Paracel Storm can go from pretty to hurricane, monsoon, scary shit, um, just that in, in, it, in itself is pretty amazing. And that's a true dynamic map, but um, Battlefield 3 was when Battlefield got insanely pretty and um, no Call of Duty will ever match Battlefield graphics wise. Call of Duty Ghost is, in my mind, actually has horrible graphics, and um, Battlefield is just, the graphics prove that Battlefield is a much more realistic skill-based game where Call of Duty's graphics make it feel kind of arcadey, and um, just Battlefield 4's graphics are amazing, and um, the difference between Battlefield 4 on the Xbox 360 and Xbox One graphically is pretty big. Um, on Xbox 360, Battlefield 4 is pretty, but on Xbox One, it, it's fucking... Whew, it's gorgeous. And Xbox One and Xbox 360 differences with the uh, Ghosts, it's not that much. You can't really tell much of a difference. Um, so that pretty much sums up the video, guys. Um, if, Xbox, uh, if Battlefield 4 was a chick, probably be Kate Upton. And, um, 
If Ghosts was a chick, it'd probably be, uh... Yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's pretty much sums it up. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and this video is not really meant to hate on Call of Duty Ghosts. It's meant to mainly boast about Battlefield 4 and just say why I like it a lot more and why, uh, I'd, I'd prefer Battlefield over Call of Duty any day. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know how you, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I understand this video might get some hate from the Call of Duty guys, but um, just let me know your opinion. This video is strictly based on my opinion, so um, don't really hate on me too much. The, your opinion, if you like Call of Duty, that's your opinion. My opinion is just, I like Battlefield. So um, just voice your guys' opinion in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.